Hello guys, Mr. 254 here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the paint on effect. It is whereby you see uh, a person sketching and coloring an illustration but you don't really see the hand doing it. So I'm going to be showing you I'm going I'm going to be showing you two methods on how you can achieve this. Um, as you can see on my layers, you can see I have two layers on on the same thing like for the table you can see I have the colored table and then you can see I have the stroked one for the chair you can see it's just a single layer and I'm going to be telling you why in a, in a minute first of all you have to make sure you have layered all your illustrated files mine is a game room and that is why I have some of the gaming equipment uh, yeah and without wasting time we're going to go to the um, after effects after effects and as you can see I have already imported my illustrated files and uh, we're going to hide the, the colored layer on the table like so and then on the table stroke we're going to we're going to go to the brush tool on the on the tools menu and then we're going to click it and double click on the table stroke you can see that it has formed another composition, a sub-composition from the main composition. And what I need you to, to notice is, uh, when you go back to the first to the first composition, you can see my, my background is colored, right? But for now, we're going to hide the background and keep it uh, in white color. And the reason why it is going to be in white color is because the effect that I'm going to be using only works on white colors and that is the negative part on this method but since I'll be showing you two methods I think we're going to be okay so we're going to go to the composition and then composition settings and then we're going to change the background color to white like so I'm going to go back to the sub uh, composition here and uh, you can see we have our brush the circle is our brush and if you want to increase the brush size I'm going to to press on I'm going to hit the control key or command and then you're going to drag your mouse like so but I want mine to be just a little bit smaller like so and uh, you have to make sure on the paint menu you have to make sure it is color white so if it is any other color like red and you paint you see it is red I'm going to undo that and change it back to white and then on the mode you can see there's more channels and duration so on the duration you can see we have constant right on single frame and custom we're going to um, to click on right on since um, the good thing about right on is it records what you're doing so we're going to click on the right on and then without further ado I'm going to to paint on my on my sub composition like so I'm just going to do it randomly just to show you what I mean As, like so and then we're going to go back to our main composition and you can see it's like nothing has happened but when you scroll you can see let us first hide the chair since it seems like it is distracting. It's not, it is preventing what I want to show you. So now when I scroll, you can see it is disappearing, our image. But we want it to be vice versa. So we are going to go here on the effects. And you can see there is paint and then there is paint on transparent. We are going to click on the, on the square box. So it reverses what we have seen earlier but the reason why you cannot see it um, is because we have not done one more step so we are going to go to the effects then you're going to type in CC composites we're going to drag it to our table stroke and when you play you're going to see it getting sketched but it is really slow so we're going to drop down on the effects and inside the, the brush tool the stroke options you're going to um, to move the keyframes closer to one another one another to increase the speed so you can see it is a little bit more faster 
going to increase the length of this so that you can see it. You can even make them more closer so that we can see the effect. So as you can see, and then that is the, the sketching of the table. And if I want to show the effect of coloring, I'm going to um, to show the other layer which had the colored table, we're going to turn it on and we're going to do the same exact thing to it. So we go to the brush, we double click and then we're going to paint on it. This is to show um, coloring of the, of the sketch, right? So we're going to go to the effects and drag the CC composite again. We're going to go back to our main composition and we're going to check the small box and since I want since I want the color to appear once the sketch has been completed we are going to to place the um, um, the difference are going to start where the where, where the the sketch is ending I hope you're getting what I'm saying as in the keyframes I'm, are going the second the, the keyframes for for the paint should start where the keyframes for the stroke are ending. Then we're going to move them closer to one another for speed. And then we can also make them smoother, a lot smoother by pressing F9 after you selected your keyframes. You can do the same for the table stroke. And then once you play it, you can see you are painting it. And if it is, yeah. You can make it slower if you want to, but I want mine to be fast to save on time. now that is our first way of showing the paint on effect and the reason why I changed the background to white is as you can see when I turn on my other background you can see it is not going to work since we have the cloud like like the white it's like a white painting behind our our table and the, as and it is not going to work so that is why I had hidden the background to white so it on the CC composite only works with the white background but if you you have and you don't have any other choice but to use a colored background I'm going to show you another method of how you can achieve the same in just a second so what we're going to do we're going to turn the background back on we're going to hide the table layer and uh, we're going to concentrate on the chair layer alone so what we're going to do is this almost the same thing. The beginning is almost the same as the other method. We're going to go to the paintbrush, double click it, and then we're just going to brush on it like so. Oh, sorry. Let me undo that. We're going to brush on it like so without letting go. Yeah, as you can see we have two keyframes like, just like in the other one but we're going to use the alpha channel on this one I'm going to use the alpha channel to remove the white cloud right and then on the paint we're going to just the same as the other one the previous one we're going to turn it to check it to check the, the square box and then we're going to make a duplicate of the chair and then the one the, the duplicate that is below we are going to delete we're going to delete the paint one the paint effect like so so here on the none we're going to create on we're going to click on alpha mid chair two like so and then when we play we're going to see the effect I think it's a little bit fast we can if you want it um, to be a little bit uh, slower so that you can see it in details we're going to go to the stroke options and then we're going to to um, make the the ending keyframe to be further apart from the first one as you can see yeah mine is not that perfect but I'm sure you can make yours perfect then we, we can make it a little bit smoother by clicking F9 yeah. 
so you can see the 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 final method works on a, any colored background right yeah so that is all for the paint effect and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for because i'll be making more videos thank you so much peace out